Patrick, just a quick comment. Thanks for doing this. I know you want to go and be a part of that trophy celebration. What are yeah. you feeling? Oh, it's great. I mean, the team play outstanding out there, and and I mean, I'm not, I'm happy for Yui because Yui play all, you know, play work hard all year, big injury, and he came back really strong, and and he was an impact player on our team. Then, uh, very happy to see him score a goal. But I mean, all the team deserve a lot of credit for what happened, and and it's just fantastic. We were happy for you too, because on Hockey Day in Canada, we watched your tournament in Montreal. Congratulations. Here's the Conn Smythe Trophy. How about a quick? Okay. Congratulations. You're welcome. Most valuable player. The winner of the Conn Smythe Trophy as the most valuable player in this year's Stanley Cup playoffs is Joe Sackett. And what a humble superstar Joe Sackett is. The captain of the Colorado Avalanche, the most outstanding player, most valuable player, through the playoffs, here he is, Joe Sackett. Well, when you watch Joe accept this trophy, it should remind you of a lovely poem by Walt Whit Whitman. It fits Joe's mood right now. Oh, Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is won. Mark Crawford, it's like an invasion of your most magical moment, but thanks for taking the time to. Give us a description of what it feels like to be in your second year as Stanley Cup champion head coach. Well, I tell you, I'm just so happy that this one ended uh, for us. Games like that, if you lose them, they might have a chance to go the other way in the series. But our guys persevered. It was a great win. I'm so happy for all our guys. They just worked so hard. Go back through the whole playoffs, and it's impossible. But Yui Krupp tonight, the guy that comes off this knee ligament, must have been really tough for you to put him in the lineup where you've got guys like Lecession and Willan and in and out, etc. Exactly. Yui did a great job getting back into the lineup. He did a great job of, uh, of working hard and getting himself rehabilitated. And it's uh, really nice to see him get the payoff of the win. First German ever to score the cup winner, I'll bet. Yes. Have a look there. You, you can talk about There's Yui now with the Stanley Cup. There he goes. You know, you describe as we see some of those people get it. You, you miss your thoughts on them. Scotty Young, here's the guy, second cup. Unbelievable that he played great. I, I think he feels more a part of this one than maybe the one in Pittsburgh. You put Warren in tonight? Warren is just a real character guy, a guy that just did so much for this club. Now they're all. How about Kaminsky? How many chances? Unbelievable. Yes! <laughs> did a great job. Uh, you can't say enough about him. This team uh, moving to Denver, I mean, we're, it's bittersweet for the fans in Quebec City, but if it if it had to happen to a city, uh, Denver really embraced you and gave you the comfort of, of such support all year. First uh, first championship for Denver, I imagine they're going absolutely crazy uh, there right now. I just got to say a couple of things. One, I'm so happy for my parents tonight. They worked so hard all their lives with nine kids in a hockey family and to have a culmination like this. I can't tell you how happy I am for my mom and dad back in Belleville, Ontario. We'll give them a thumbs up. Thank you. Here are the Molson three stars from Miami this evening. The game clinching goal by Yui Krupp. The cup winner, Patrick Roy is number two, and John Van Beesbrook, heroic in a losing cause. Let's go into the celebration right now with Scott Russell. Scott. Thanks very much, Ron, and the Champlain has uh, already started to flow. And I'll tell you what, here's a guy I saw drafted in 1988 in the Montreal Forum, third overall, Curtis Lecician, been with this franchise ever since. Express what you feel right now. Oh, words can't explain this. It's unbelievable. Um, I, I can't say anything. I don't know what to say. It's unbelievable. What, a, what, what about the feeling tonight when Yui scored? What was it like on the bench or wherever you were? It's almost a feeling of disbelief. It's to the point where you say, this can't be happening for, for real. And it, it was. And um, hosting the cup was probably one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. I know you spent a long time in Quebec, and there were some dark years where your team didn't have many points. Uh, but what do you say to the people of Quebec now who've seen this franchise move on? Well, they're a part of this, obviously. Uh, you know, you don't just pick up and leave without uh, leaving some roots and we left a lot of roots there and you know uh, this is for the people in Quebec as well they can enjoy this as well. Curtis what's the first phone call you're gonna make? Well I, I don't know if I want to make a phone call I just want to say hi to my mom and dad in Saskatoon I love you guys and thanks for the support all the way through. Curtis congratulations. Thank you. Curtis Lecician Ron back to you. Yeah! Mike Ricci here. Oh. 
<laughs> Not back to Ron, but with Mike Ricci, and congratulations. Uh, put into words your feeling about this cup, Mike. Well, I don't know. Uh, it's a great feeling. I mean, when you make a, a goal as a, as a team and you, you succeed at the end, it feels very good. It hasn't sunk in yet, but hopefully it'll sink in. It's a dream come true for everybody, and uh, wow, we were happy. Uh, how about Yui Krupp? Uh, can you say a couple of words about him? He made it happen for you at the very end. Oh, the big dog, baby. I mean, uh, He's been, all, he's been all over. He got big knee injury. You know, people thought he wouldn't come back and look at him. He came back to be the hero. He deserves it. He worked very hard, and oh, boy, do we love him. Not, you know, the only problem is I'll never forget the guy now. I'm going to have to remember him for the rest of my life. There were so many changes in this organization over the years as we Woo! get a little more of the bubbly. So many changes in the organization, but changes this year that brought Patrick Waugh to the team. Can you express what that meant? Well, I think, you know, uh, the, the management made some great trades. Mike Keane, uh, Claude Lemieux. Patrick Waugh, Sanders Ozelinch, uh, every, every trade. I mean, Pierre Lacroix didn't make a bad trade. And when you do that, when you have a good team, uh, you know, you're going to be successful. We're just happy they're with us. Um, you know, I hate trying to score on Patrick, and, uh, you know, it was just great. One last thing. Hockey's a personal game, and it's a family game. Uh, who would you like to say thanks to uh, for this? Definitely like to thank my mom, my brothers, especially my dad, who's not here right now. But, uh, you know, a uh, time like this, uh, you remember. Mike, uh, congratulations. Thanks. Mike Ricci of the Colorado Avalanche. Right now, Adam Desmarsh is in behind me. Adam, congratulations and your feelings on the cup. Well, it's, it's pretty ecstatic right now. I don't, I don't know really what to say. I mean, uh, it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me, that's for sure. Was that, uh, was that just dire waiting out there for the goal to happen? I mean, you guys were ready for this for a long time, but it was what was it like to wait for? Well, it? it was tough. I mean, definitely, uh, you know, and it's such a game that we had tonight. I mean, it, it's tough. Uh, uh, when either team scores, but uh, definitely uh, it was long awaited for us. Uh, as you think about it now, and this is the last question, uh, all the time that uh, was spent in the rink and growing up, uh, who would you like to say thank you? Just thanks to my mom and dad. I mean, they've been great. They, uh, they were the ones who were getting up at 6 in the morning and, uh, you know, taking me to the rink. Hi, Mom. Thanks a lot, Adam. Way to go. Adam Deadmarsh of the Colorado Avalanche, uh, their Stanley Cup, uh, Molson Hockey Night in Canada on CBC, and the Stanley Cup playoffs which the Colorado Avalanche have won, continues in just a moment. Back in the winner's locker room, the Colorado Avalanche as they win the Stanley Cup the second time around for Mike Keane, former Montreal Canadian. Uh, how do you feel about this one? Well, it's pretty sweet. You know, uh, the guys worked very hard. And, and uh, you know, it's, we worked so hard. We were disciplined. We were focused. All that, all those cliches. And, uh, you know, it just feels very good right now. I know it was a disappointment for you to leave Montreal, but does this make everything all worthwhile in hockey to come to a place like this? Well, Montreal is a very classy organization. You know, they, they achieve me very well, and, you know, trades are part of hockey. I'm just glad we could help this team. And, uh, you know, I think the people of, of Quebec City should feel, should feel very proud. They, uh, you know, support their team throughout the years, and they're, they're a big part of the Stanley Cup. Mike, congratulations on your second, and may there be many more. Thank you very much. Mike Keane of the Avalanche. Ron, back to you. Scott, thanks a lot. Uh, Doug, Don Sherry's in one room, Harry Neal in another. They know how you feel. Uh, no one else could possibly. Uh, but everybody in hockey is just so proud of uh, what you've accomplished here, and yet I know uh, how disappointing it is. I'll just ask you to comment on uh, what the glorious ride felt like and uh, go from there. Well, I mean, you're disappointed, but, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the players. They played extremely hard, and, and uh, as a coach and a first-year coach, you couldn't ask for anything more than what the, those guys in that dressing room uh, put out and uh, I'm really proud of them and that's how I feel right now I'm disappointed but I'm really proud and uh, proud of the whole organization Brian and, and Bill Torrey and Chuck Fletcher and our trainers and coaches assistant coaches did a great job I'm just really proud of everybody right now and I think that's the only way I want to remember this uh, this season and this series and the playoffs it's been terrific if you have any flashback in bed tonight will it be the drive to Florida to, to imagine that we would be in Miami tonight and experience a, a six period game like we we saw for the Stanley Cup no, I certainly didn't. I, I know on the drive, the only thing I was thinking about tonight is that I'd be able to come back here again for five and six, five in Denver and six here. But uh, hey, uh, I, as I said, and I don't want to ramble on, but I'm just really proud of them. That's all. That's and, all you need. And give Colorado credit. They're an excellent hockey team. Mark and Joel did a great job, and they played very well. What a first year. Good luck as we Thanks move Ron. along. Thanks, Ron. I appreciate that. Doug McLean, head coach of the Florida Panthers. Scott. Thanks very much, Ron. Very few people have won the Stanley Cup with three different organizations. One of them is Claude Lemieux. Uh, congratulations, and how do you put this one in perspective? Well, I think uh, this is obviously, it's always hard to compare. The first one was something that I'll never forget, obviously, with Montreal. Um, this is sweeter than last year for many reasons. It was, it was a great last year, but leaving a club that had won the Cup, I had a lot of mixed feelings about it, and obviously was scared of never having that chance again. 
and uh, coming to this club here with uh, a lot of young players. We came a long, long way, and uh, uh, you know we were underrated and uh, underdog, but uh, we pulled it, uh, pulled it off, and uh, and we made it. Can you say a word about Florida? They gave you an awfully game fight at the bitter end. They played like Tigers. I thought that uh, tonight they were gonna give us a good first period, and then we were gonna have some room and. Uh, they gave us everything. That, that, that showed that uh, they deserve uh, uh, the, the Stanley Cup Finals that they had. They deserve to be there. Uh, they beat some uh, uh, some great hockey clubs to come to us, and uh, it's just uh, you know I have a lot of respect for them. One, one last question, and that is: You're a former Conn Smythe Trophy winner. You're a great competitor, and you take a lot of heat from a lot of people because of what happens. Uh, how do you feel about the end of the season? You know, it couldn't end any better. When you win the Stanley Cup, obviously, it's the it's the biggest thing. It's the, the nicest thing that can happen to you. And as I said earlier, you can't take it away from me. I've, uh, you know, I was fortunate to be on a good club three times and win the Cup three times. And now to see the, the Consmy Trophy in this room and with uh, my name on it and Joey Sackick now, it's just, uh, it's just a great feeling. And we can't wait to take uh, these trophies to Denver. Congratulations, Claude. Thank you. Claude Lemieux, and uh, joining me now uh, as Claude moves out, Adam Foote, who was the first star of uh, game number three here in Miami. Uh, congratulations, Adam. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, I don't know how to explain this. It's incredible. I already lost my voice. <laughs> hey, I just want to say hi to everyone back in Whitby, Newcastle, Uxbridge. Love you. Taylor, I'm waving to you this time. Yeah, you know, uh, Uwe Krupp had a couple of great words uh, the other day. He said, you know, when you get this far and you have success, you should never forget where you came from. And he said thank you to the people of Quebec. How do you feel about that? You know, it's sad, it's sad that that happened in Quebec City. You know, they were great fans for us. And it, it, it's disappointing. It's disappointing, but... Uh, there's Uve right there. He's going to move in right beside us here. I know. Keep going, Adam. It's, it's so disappointing for them, but, yeah, you got to thank uh, the great support we've had in Denver. The fans have been unbelievable there, and they deserve this, too. All right. Congratulations, Adam. Way to go. Thank you. Adam Foote and Uve Krupp, who got the winning goal tonight in triple overtime. And, Uve, uh, first of all, uh, talk about the goal and how it felt to finally get this thing done. Well, it's an incredible feeling. I... Uh, the Joey won the face off back to me, and uh, you know I just tried to get rid of it as quick as I can and leaned into it. You know, with John Van Beesbrook has been playing so outstanding that we're just trying to concentrate of uh, getting the puck through to the net, not getting it blocked. You know, go, get, getting uh, attacked the other way, and um, you know this one went through. Eleven years for you in the wilderness, and finally you come to the light. Uh, how do you feel about finally reaching your ultimate goal? Well, it's you know it, it is it is like a dream come true. I mean, we all any player that plays in the NHL wants to win the Stanley Cup, and um, I wanted it as bad as anybody that has ever grown up in North America. And um, you know, this 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 time I had a chance to play in a team that you know had so much talent and so such a great work ethic, and you know we were well prepared. And it's just a all around excellent team effort that got us here. Uve, uh, congratulations, and you deserve it. Thanks a lot. Uve Krupp with the Colorado Avalanche had the winning goal tonight in a 1 0 victory in triple overtime. We'll return to the winner's locker room and all the celebration from Miami.